dear students welcome to english b a pact with the sun this is your supplementary reader that is this book is to be read in addition to your main english book hani shakli the purpose of this book is to promote your reading independently with interest understanding and enjoyment it is to enable you to read independently in the sense that you would not expect the book to be read page by page rather you would read it on your own and later share and confirm your responses and appreciation with the teacher with your classmates in the classroom but since we are far away from the opportunity of the classroom interaction i will devise a different plan for this book as we did in your meaningless course that line by line explanation word meaning paragraph wise summary that we would not do i shall give you the reading of the story a model reading and at the end of it i shall give you the detailed summary follow the model reading read once twice three times even more don't stick to any difficult word read them time and again and you will find a time will come you will understand bit by bit gradually a very simple technique to understand the story is if you find any difficult word the typical word in the sense that you have not come across at all that type of word when you come across read some words ahead of this and some words after it and try to guess the meaning and i'm sure after several reading a time will come when you won't know you have started understanding it now the model reading of the story a tale of two birds there once lived a bird and her two newborn babies in a forest they had a nest in a tall shady tree and there the mother bird took care of her little ones day and night one day there was a big storm there was thunder lightning and rain and the wind blew down many trees the tall tree in which the birds lived also came down a big heavy branch hit the nest and killed the bird fortunately for the baby birds the strong wind blew them away to the other side of the forest one of them came down near a cave where a gang of robbers lived the other landed outside a rishi jasra a little distance away days passed 
and the baby birds became big birds. One day, the king of the country came to the forest to hunt. He saw a deer and rode after it. It ran deep into the forest, followed by the king. Soon the king lost his way and didn't know where he was. He rode on for a long time till he came to the other side of the forest. Very tired by now, he got off his horse and sat down under a tree that stood near a cave. Suddenly he heard a voice cry out, Quick, hurry up! There is someone under the tree. Come and take his jewels and his horse. Hurry! or else he will sleep away. The king was amazed. He looked up and saw a big brown bird on the tree under which he was sitting. He also heard faint noises issuing from the cave. He quickly got on to his horse and rode away as fast as he could. Soon, he came to a clearing which looked like an ashram. It was the Rishi's ashram. The king tied his horse to a tree and sat down in its shade. Suddenly, he heard a gentle voice announce, Welcome to the ashram, sir. Please go inside and rest. The Rishi will be back soon. There is some cold water in the pot. Please make yourself comfortable. The king looked up and saw a big brown bird in the tree. He was amazed. This one looks like the other bird outside the cave, he said to himself loudly. You are right, sir, answered the bird. He is my brother, but he has made friends with rivers. He now talks as they do. He doesn't talk to me anymore. Just then, the Rishi entered the ashram. Welcome, sir, he said to the king. Please come inside and make yourself at home. You look tired. Rest for a while. Then you can share my food. The king told the Rishi the story of the two birds and how each had behaved so differently though they looked so alike. The forest is full of surprises, he said. The holy man smiled and said, After all, one is known by the company one keeps. That bird has always heard the talk of rubbers. He imitates them and talks about robbing people. This one has repeated what he has always heard. He welcomes people to the ashram. Now come inside and rest. I will tell you more about this place and these birds. Now the detailed summary of the story a tale of two birds. This is all about a mother bird and her two young ones that are just born. The mother bird was taking care of these birdies in her nest in a tall shady tree. One day, a storm came and made all the trees fall down. The mother bird was killed as a branch hit the nest. But the baby birds were safe, only blown away to the other side of the forest. One of them reached a cave where 
the rubbers leaped and the other one landed near an ashram. Soon the baby birds became bigger. One day the king of the country reached the forest hunting. He noticed a deer and started chasing it. The deer ran far away into the deep forest. The king was riding his horse. He lost his way. He kept on riding and soon reached the other side of the forest. He was tired. He got down from the horse. He sat under a tree near the cave. Suddenly, he heard a voice. It was asking someone to rob the person outside of his jewels and horse. The king was surprised to hear that and looked up to notice a big brown bird on the tree. Faint noises from the cave reached the air. Instantly, he mounted the horse and left the place. Very soon, the king reached an ashram. He tied his horse to a tree and sat down to rest in its shed. A soft voice greeted him and asked him to come inside and take rest. It also told him to have cold water from the pot to feel comfortable till the rishi returned. The king was surprised. He looked up to check and he found a similar bird in the tree. The bird told the king that he was right. The bird was his brother. He was in the company of robbers. He became like them. The bird further added that he and his brother were not in talking terms. The Rishi entered the ashram soon. <clears throat> he welcomed the king to come inside and be at ease. He offered to share his food. The king explained the different behaviors of the two birds that looked so similar. He added that forest was replete with such surprises. The Rishi smilingly explained the impact of the company one keeps. The bird who heard rubbers was imitating their words and the one who was with the Rishi was speaking soft words like the Rishi and was greeting the people as the Rishi did. The Rishi asked the king to take rest and offered to tell him more about the place and the birds. Now I will give you the model answers for the questions at the end of the story. Read them well but do not try to memorize them. Write your own answer instead. Question 1. How did the two baby birds get separated? The two baby birds got separated when a fierce storm hit the forest. The storm carried them far away from the nest. Question 2. Where did each of them 
find a home. One of them fell near a cave of robbers and the other fell near a rishi's ashram. 3. What did the first bird say to the stranger? The first bird said, Quick, hurry up. There is someone under the tree. Come and take his jewels and his horse. Question 4. What did the second bird say to him? The second bird said, Welcome to the ashram, sir. Please go inside and rest. The Rishi will be back soon. Question 5. How did the Rishi explain the different ways in which the birds behaved? The Rishi explained that the birds were reflecting the impact of their company. Question 6. Which one of the following sums up the story best? There are three choices. First one. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Second. One is known by the company one keeps. Third, a friend in need is a friend indeed. The sentence, one is known by the company one keeps, sums up the story best. Here is a set of questions, mainly of WH types, that is how, which, where, when type. I have made them on the basis of the first part of the story, just read out. I ask you to make similar set of questions for the other part of the story for your better understanding. This much for today. We will once again meet in the next class.